most people today. Okay, wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you're excited to get it. <laughs> Let me introduce you. Okay, guys. Alex is going to speak to our license drivers, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody. Let's welcome Alex. For most people today who hear the words electric car, they probably think of something along the lines of a Nissan Leaf. While it's an interesting piece of technology, it's really nothing more than a glorified car. Uh, a car lover such as myself, or anyone that's looking to have fun with their ride, would never buy one of these cars. But the problem is, is that electric cars are the future of the automotive industry, whether we like it or not. Fuel efficiency has become a major selling point in cars today, as buyers look to save money at the pump while decreasing their carbon footprint. We've already seen companies like BMW do away with gas guzzling diesel engines in favor of more fuel efficient, smaller, turbocharged six engine engines. A lot of this change is coming from the government who is looking to limit its uh, dependency on foreign oil. In fact, uh, by 2016, automakers will have to comply with an average fuel efficiency across the whole lineup of 34 and a half miles a gallon. By 2025, this number will increase to 54 and a half miles per gallon. This is worrying a lot of car enthusiasts that the fast and sporty cars that we have known and loved uh, will be a thing of the past. Uh, but we have no reason to worry because these fast and sporty cars can and will live on as all electric cars. From the same person that brought us SpaceX, the company that will one day put private citizens, private citizens in space, Elon Musk, that's his name is Elon, uh, has brought us Tesla. The Tesla Model S is certainly no golfer. Uh, <laughs> with its beautiful styling, the 60 kilowatt battery, it has, produces 300 horsepower, it will take you to 60 miles an hour in just 5.9 seconds. On a single charge, it will take you 208 miles. So these are just the specifications of the base model. The most expensive model that boasts a um, 85 kilowatt battery that produces 416 horsepower, and will take you 6 miles an hour in just 4.2 seconds. That's faster than most sports cars. But the Model S is not only extremely fast, it's very practical with the ability to handle any large family. Uh, with the space normally reserved for a large engine, the Model S is capable of carrying up to 5 adults and 2 kids. Uh, since not everyone is interested in buying a car for speed, it really has something to offer for every driver. In fact, Consumer Reports actually rated it as the highest car they have ever tested, as the best car they have ever tested. Um, it carries a base price around $60,000, which is obviously expensive for a car, but it really is still an amazing buy for the money. And they're actually coming out with a Model E that will be 20% smaller and more affordable. But the Model S is not the only good option out there. BMW recently came out with the i3 which will be more affordable with a base price of around $41,000 before government tax rebates, um, but it can still be a fun car to drive. It's made largely out of carbon fiber, which allows it to be incredibly light and agile while still being efficient. Um, it is, uh, has produces 170 horsepower and will take you six miles an hour in around seven seconds, which is four seconds faster than the Nissan Leaf. It has a range of 80 to 100 miles, which isn't perfect, but it's plenty for the average daily driver. Um, and it can be uh, charged in just three hours just being plugged in at home in your garage. But the big question is why should we be buying electric cars? The bottom line is that electric cars will save you money. The average electric car costs $3.74 to hundred miles, and a comparable conventional car costs $13.36. This is obviously due to the fact that electricity is much cheaper than gasoline. Uh, in fact, Tesla has supercharger stations that allow Model S owners to charge, to get a full quick charge completely for free. Imagine how awesome getting free gasoline would be out of this speed uh, The government is currently offering a $7,500 tax rebate, as I mentioned earlier. So that's really just instant saving that goes right back in your pocket. And electric cars are uh, a lot less uh, complicated than conventional motor cars because it has one tenth the number of moving parts. So your car is going to be spending a lot less time in the shop and you'll have more money in your pocket. Um, electric cars of course have zero CO2 emissions which is a main reason why a lot of people buy them. Uh, so in addition to global warming there are a lot of public health issues associated with CO2 emissions and electric cars are going to be in a cleaner environment um, and healthier breathing air in places most affected by pollution like major cities. 
But some people might try to argue electric cars simply change the source of the CO2 emissions from the cars to the power plant. But in today's world, when we're producing electricity with fossil fuels, but also with uh, renewable energy sources like wind and solar, uh, electric cars still benefit the environment. In fact, a lot of public charging stations use uh, wind and solar to produce electricity. So, yeah, it really is a better for the environment. Um, so, in the future, as we move away from fossil fuels, electric cars will be powered by a nearly infinite and clean energy source. The price of the batteries needed to power these cars is expensive right now, and this technology is only going to get cheaper as time goes on, and gasoline is only going to get more expensive. Uh, I really urge all of you to look into electric cars and see if they fit your lifestyle.